What's good? It's day two of Life of a Reseller. Today we got a few meetups and we just gonna run through everything. I did sell these Fire Red Fives that I bought last night. I bought these yesterday for $190. Sold them this morning for $240. Got these threes for $180. Brand new market on them is about $240. I'll probably sell them for $220 around there, which isn't bad. Got these in from Nike. I gonna sell these for like 40 profit as well. Also, got these in. You feel me? These military blues, these beautiful. These are straight on my feet. I'm not gonna lie. Simple day. After getting these shoes in, I'm just gonna post them up on my story. Post everything on eBay, post everything on Alias. And then I'm just gonna see how it goes. About three packages later, dropping them off at UPS. And besides that, it's, a, it's honestly a pretty chill day. I don't have a lot to run around to do. I could do some Oh, I do have some easy slides to buy you later as well. Forgot about that shit. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to go buy some easy slides for 110 later today. I'll bring y'all along with me on that. And so I'll see y'all next time I do something interesting. Peace. What's good, y'all? I just dropped off hella packages. I also just bought some Yeezy slides for 110. I thought they were the bone, and he thought they were the bone too. But when I looked at the box, they were the pure colorway. So I ain't really say none because the pure is worth a little more. <laughs> but I got some Yeezy slides for 110. And I'm about to go pick up some Motorsport Jordan 4s for 160. The last pair of these that I got in the same condition, I sold for 300. So that's a steal like uh, if these are if these are real that's a steal of course you know i always legit check my shit thoroughly it's not worth it buying some fake ass shoes but i'll update y'all when i'm done with this meetup as well as i'll throw y'all some advice on the way back so i'll see y'all soon uh, peace good job i just got done with the meetup for these motorsport fours once again i bought them for 160. honestly the cheapest on go at the moment it's 300 no box by the way so this one has the box ogr i'm gonna easily be able to get 250 for these 260 260 easily if i really wanted to push it, i could sell them for 300 so i'm gonna sell these for probably like 260 to another reseller give him the room to make money and here's the reason i'm doing that main way to play this game is to get a customer and then have them buy from you as many times as possible see Many people don't talk about this because they don't know about it, especially in the reselling game. But before I even got into this game, I was really into business. Like I, I studied business. I started a few businesses before I even got into like shoes full time. And the main way you make money as a business is improving the lifetime value of customers. And the main way to do that in shoes is give extraordinary customer service, respond fast, if someone gets a, a wrong shoe, act fast. If someone gets some, some issue with their order, give them a refund. And the next way to do that is good prices. Because if you have good prices, everybody's going to come to you because they can make money off you. Because if you can make people money with your shoes, you will always have customers. Like, that, that sounds obvious, but I'm going to say it again because it's true as fuck and it's real. If you can make people money with the shoes that you sell, you will always have customers. And you will always have lifetime customers. So, what I'm going to do with these shoes, because I got them for cheap as shit, I'm going to sell them to a, another reseller who can make money off them. Or, if I get a high enough offer, I might just sell them to people who actually wear the shoes. It all just depends. Each other, once I get home, I'm, tonight I'll probably go over how I get my shipping labels for $6, which is useful information. A lot of people are charging, a lot of people are paying like 12 to 15 bucks to ship a pair of shoes. I pay $6, I'll show y'all my methods, how I do it, and how you could do it, and how you could do it as well. All right, I'm back in the crib, and I'm gonna run you through my shipping prices and how I get labels for cheap as hell. So first, I use something called a label provider. These label providers mostly are on Discord, right? If you don't know what Discord is, it's just an online community, basically. I have my cook group on Discord. There's a lot of other cook groups on Discord. And so I'll leave 
the link to this Discord in the description. But here you go. It, I just hit this dude up. He sends me the labels. And it costs six bucks. I just sent him six bucks on Cash App. I'll leave the link to this shit in the description. As well as I'm going to show you guys me just packing a package up, basically. This guy, he's bought... Uh, he bought some Racer Blue 3s for me in the past. And so he, he just bought some phone runners for me. And whenever people buy from me more than once, I always give them free shipping on all, like, extra orders. This is because it increases the lifetime value of that customer. This lighting is terrible. I don't really care. <laughs> Y'all here for the information, the looks. But yeah, this just increases the lifetime value of this customer. And it will make them want you want to spend more money with you. As well as if you ship your shoes out quick, you know, you provide good customer service. They will always shop with you. But yeah. If you, and then I get these boxes from uh, Amazon. They're a dollar forty nine a box. They're unmarked. I used to use Home Depot boxes, but they just don't look professional. Like that shit, I don't like the way that looks. I like my branding to be clean. Not Home Depot. The only time I use Home Depot is when I'm shipping multiple shoes. But that's about it.